Hey there, njroot22.com here with another supermarket roundup for the weekend starting October 19th, 2018. Uh, we're going to start off, there's my flyer, please visit the website, that's uh, why we do these things. We're going to start off with Kings real quick. Again, I'll repeat it. If you haven't watched this uh, video, uh, and it's most likely you haven't because for some odd reason I put all the right keywords in YouTube and somehow my videos aren't um, getting much traction yet. We'll see what happens uh, once I get uh, more people reading. Um, it, it's kind of unfair. I, I, I've been putting up uh, weekly videos at least twice a week for the last six months and uh, Nothing is really uh, taking off here. I guess people don't like seeing this stuff. They like quick, quick hitting um, videos with graphics and 5,000 camera angles and not, not any conversation. But anyway, real quick, uh, I looked at Kings. We don't really shop here because they're expensive, but they do have a good deal on these organic Bell and Evans whole chickens. They're $2.49 a pound. That's almost half price. See, I'll show you there. It's. Uh, What's going on here? My focus isn't working today. There we go. That's a good price there. I want to talk to you about apples real quick. I, uh, I don't eat a lot of uh, fruit anymore uh, with the exception of blueberries, raspberries, and an occasional strawberry or blackberry uh, because of the sugar content, the sucrose content, this natural, quickly available sugar. And the other day I had maybe a third or a quarter of, an, of a red apple I picked up at a local farm stand along with some nice organic uh, cheddar cheese. And I got restless leg syndrome. And if you, if you Google carefully, you can find older websites, maybe about 10 years old, with articles that talk about how sugar pretty much is the cause of restless leg syndrome. For anybody that has it, is really eating too much sugar, and especially the bad sugar. But I ate, like, a, like I said, a quarter or a third of, a, of one of these Honeycrisp apples, and I had awful, awful awful restless leg syndrome uh, for one night it was it was unbearable it woke me up I mean I didn't just wake up I mean I woke up fully awake it was just not good but anyway let's let's move on here I got an interesting side note uh, next week I'm gonna do a story about this place Frenchtown market we've talked about them it's a member of the IGA food co-op or whatever you want to call it uh, buying a grocers association they actually have like 4,000 stores uh, countrywide or worldwide so that's why they're able to compete at all with any, any of these bigger places like Super, um, ShopRite or anything like that, or Wegmans or even Walmart. Um, but we visited the Frenchtown market, and I just wanted to show you the difference in their ads. Just because they're a member of the same um, cooperative, I think this, the Frenchtown market, and there may be some differences other than being part of IGA, they may have other... Um, um, uh, relationships with suppliers and so on but the the no offense to the bishops um, of White House the ad is is just seems to be more fun to read uh, over at the French town market um, they group things up nice and things I mean I don't, I'm not a big fan of this pattern they have here that kind of takes away from it whereas IGA of uh, bishops of uh, White House uses a lot more white space I still somehow find this easier to read on this side and I'll explain my what what the deal was. Sorry for the reflection. I'm, I'm using a poor light studio here. But they have uh, a very interesting flyer, and it's glossy and shiny. But I didn't see anything over at uh, Bishops of uh, White House that you know st stood out, uh, you know, in particular. So I, I'm just going to remind everybody that we shop here at these local places just to give them business. And uh, we do find good things there from time to time. They have good spices, they have good prepared food, uh, the fried chicken apparently is a home run and so on. So just keep that in mind. Keep, keep these guys in your rotation, even if it's for 20 or 30 bucks a week. Okay, next, I'm not gonna talk about Stop and Shop. I'm not a big fan, I, I don't care. I mean, these blueberries look pretty good. Um, they have other junk ice cream and soda and, and, and name brand stuff. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about them. There's nothing really to say. Until I start shopping there periodically, maybe once a week, just so I can tell you what's going on there. But ShopRite, we shop at most. So I'm going to look at this. I didn't do any pre-research on these flyers. I just got them in the driveway. 
uh, a few minutes ago. So I'm, I'm gonna really quickly go over what we like uh, upon first glance here. You know, we don't do soda, we don't do candy, we don't do chips, and we don't do anything with a lot of sugar. Frito-Lay snacks, I don't care if it's organic, I don't care if it's made of vegetables. Look at the carb content of the food that you eat and you can pretty much get a fast track on how to get better health. You just, you gotta look it up. I'm, I'm gonna repeat this over and over because it's not getting enough uh, traction in the mainstream they're talking about paleo diets and they're talking about all sorts of other things those are unsustainable because they're very restricted just watch out for the sugar you eat and that includes natural and organic things like vegetables and fruits you gotta watch out and and, and same thing with those cauliflower pizzas i mentioned last week they're loaded with carbs so let's take a look here pork spare ribs that's a good deal this week buck 99 a pound uh, the Galbani Mutz is uh, three two forty nine a pound, and awesome! I just see this here. The Hormel Black Label Bacon is three ninety nine a pound again. That means starting Sunday, June twenty first, I am going to stock up on both of these: the Galbani Mutz and an. The Hormel Black Label Bacon, and I highly recommend exclusively the low sodium version of this bacon because it is salted with sea salt, and you can add your own salt as it's cooking, and you can make it as salty as you want. It's fantastic. It's, I just made some today, my last uh, pound of bacon. I'm, I'm very excited the Hormel is on sale. Like I told you, these things go on sale regularly, at least once a month, once every six weeks. Buy six, six or seven pounds of it, and, and keep, keep it in your fridge. It stays good for a long time. Uh, I don't know what's good here. Da, da, da. I wouldn't buy any canned anything. This is that uh, freshetta. Don't, don't bother. I mean, it's easy. It's, it's fun to eat. It's uh, addictive. And I just don't recommend it. Um, you will find out eventually. You will. Because you're going to search. Like, you may have health problems, you'll search the, uh, the internet and you'll try one thing and another thing and then you're going to you're gonna end up stumbling on, on a low sugar diet. Here's the Hormel again. Fantastic. I love it. Um, let's see what kind of meats they have on sale this week. Da, 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 da. Again, do not... I don't recommend Clayton. It's from Australia. Believe me, I mean, when the butcher tells you don't buy Australian or New Zealand meat, don't do it. I just had a sip of my wine. I, I was supposed to take tonight off from drinking wine, but I'm not. Okay, um, wholesome pantry is good. Da, 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 chicken, 93% uh, well, lean ground chicken. It's good for your dog. I, I wouldn't eat something that lean, personally. I like 73%, 73% ground beef. I'm, I'm gonna do a little recipe about, I mean, uh, maybe a recipe or a review about how good and juicy 73%. I don't care how oily it gets and you cook it it's it's really just beyond flavorful it's you got to look into it um the sweden sun's burgers are 73 percent they're delicious for that exact reason and you can get 73 percent ground beef at aldi i think it's aldi i've been saying aldi all along but i think it's aldi uh, i don't know but it's dirt cheap it's two dollars and 19 cents a pound and you really can't go wrong. And here's a good good deal on sabrettes this week. I like the sabrettes. Two ninety nine a pack. Sabrettes beef franks. Those just taste so good on the grill. And yeah, yeah, yeah. N nitrates and all this other stuff. What are you gonna do? Um, I think they occur naturally. And I think this whole anti nitrate thing is a is a new a new way to sell something. That's how people break into the market. Think about it. Like bacon has been bacon for a long, long time. Now all of a sudden we have 50 kinds of bacon. Um, you know, nitrate free, uncured. I like cured bacon with nitrates in it. I think it happens naturally. But like I said, watch out for salt. Find something with sea salt in it. I, I promise you it's, it's better for you. Um, these half, these uh, cooked perfect meatballs, I, I don't recommend them. They're a little bit carby, but they're good to have in the freezer for uh, uh, emergencies, you never know. And here's something interesting, v vegan white castles, uh, s vegetable sliders. Jeez Louise, I mean, it, that's sacrilegious almost. I mean, white castles, I remember eating like 20 white castles at a time when I was a fat load. Um, 
and, and just feeling like crap for a solid half a week. But veggie, I think, I, I haven't looked at the carb cans. We're gonna do a little review on these. Not review eating, but just commentary on, on them. I think they have more carbs than the meat ones. Uh, and as you can tell, I am not a big fan of carbohydrates. And I'm one of the few people that, that stayed with this program and didn't let other fad diets uh, like win me over. I have proven success with not eating sugar at all. No sugar in my coffee, no cookies, no bread, no pasta. I sometimes have some carby things like peanuts. I, I might eat a few too many of them because they, they satisfy, but I try my best and it's very hard because carbohydrates are addictive beyond belief. Chips, snacks, crackers, Oreos, Gatorades, Kool-Aids, Snapples, um, all of these things, uh, ginger ale, they're all bad for you, Snapple. I mean, it, it's redonkulous. It, I don't care how, how good the chips are. Chips, one or two aren't gonna kill you, but you're gonna end up eating handful after handful, Welch's fruit snacks, no good. Uts, no good. These cauliflower crackers here from the ground up. Look how much ex expensive they are. You get 10 ounces, 10 ounces of cauliflower snacks. They you drop the big word cauliflower, $9. That's ridiculous. That's uh, like 15 bucks a pound. No, don't do it. Just because it has cauliflower in it, it unless it's 100% cauliflower, forget it. Um, I don't know. I, I'm rambling here 11 minutes, uh, so I'm, I'm going to try and finish up here real quick. I'm just, it's so hard to shop for food uh, when you know that, um, here's something good. The Pyrexes are on sale. If you've dropped a few and you're running low on storage, this is a, I, I, I'd say this is, this is a nice little deal at uh, ShopRite this week. All their glass uh, storage containers are, are um, half price. So if you need to stock up or if you want to get uh, some as gifts, and they have a whole lot of other brands on sale like these uh, baking dishes and so on. The Good Cook, these uh, I'm not gonna recommend. Uh, short term, yeah, but long term, no. Uh, they don't really last. But I think that's all we have for this week. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to promote healthy things and I can't, I mean, it's even tough like these baby foods. Like they're loaded with sugar too. Any kind of baby food, it's really hard to find something that's not packed with sugar and the kid gets fired up and doesn't want to sleep. It's really hard. I mean, if you could keep your kid on, on whole foods and, and, you know, like avocados and cauliflower and uh, meat and, and good fruits like blueberries and raspberries, you, you, you may have a chance with your kids. But if you're feeding them, you know, full oranges. If, if you do feed your kids juice, water it down from the get-go. Don't ever introduce full strength juice to your children ever. And watch out for things like, I mean, bananas are, are tough. Kids love bananas. They're easy and cheap. But pineapples and bananas are, uh, are really packed with sugar. And same thing with, if you're gonna give a kid an orange, uh, don't do orange juice. Do, do like a clementine is always nice. A small little clementine, let them eat it. And that's it for this week. Have a nice weekend, and uh, I'll tell you more about the uh, the Pennington market next week. It was a, an interesting uh, trip down to Frenchtown. Enjoy, enjoy the brisk.